Exhaust moisture. Very sensitive topic. With the moisture that is produced in the standard, there is a lot of heat, a lot of energy, a lot of temperature linked to it. And most of the production units, they use the fan to get rid of all that moisture. That means you lose a lot of temperature, you lose a lot of energy. You can avoid that and I'm going to show you how. Let's jump right in. Hello and servus from Bavaria. Welcome to our Malo webcast, also known as MCast. If you haven't been here before, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. In that channel, we constantly show some short videos how to control things together with Malo. Today, after I've introduced myself, I will talk about the exhaust moisture. But first of all, let's talk about me. My name is Stefan Kiri. I'm responsible for all the textile products at Malo. I'm the product manager here and I will tell you, as I said, a little bit about the exhaust moisture, which is a very, very difficult thing to handle because on the one side you want to get rid of all the water which you evaporate from the fabric to make room for new water. On the other side, there is so much temperature and so much energy linked to that steam. You want to keep that energy inside. So to find that balance will be the battle for the next 10 minutes. First of all, we will talk about the things that really matter during that issue. Then we'll talk about the safety margin, which is really the enemy in your production without you knowing it. And then we will talk about having control, finally a short summary. But before we do all that, my question to you is, are there any issues with your trying capacity? Because yeah, I will tell you later, the drying is the bottleneck in most of the production units. And once we open up that bottleneck, we'll open up your production capacity in general. So if you have an issue with the drying, just leave a comment underneath and then we'll take care about it and we might find a solution. So what matters? A standard process is happening uh, inside the dryer and for most of the people it looks like a black box. They can't see what's inside, they can't feel it, but yet all the processes need to be optimized. So transparency is the key. So to avoid that transparency a lot of people use a safety margin to overcome that transparency. However, it is this battle between the safety margin and real control. The control that I want to introduce today is focusing on that section of the dryer over here. Here we have the exhaust and in that exhaust we can measure the humidity and we can find an equilibrium about the moisture and the fan speed. But let's go back to that safety margin that I was talking about early on. Without knowing reliable data, some people would rather say, okay, in order to get enough steam out of the system and to make room for new moisture, I would rather run the fan on full speed because then I'm absolutely sure that I have enough room for all the water which will be evaporated from the fabric. This leads to two fatal consequences. First of all, together with the moisture, a lot of energy, a lot of heat, a lot of temperature is leaving the stander. But you want to have the heat inside the stander because you want to have a very efficient process. And 
The other thing is, these fans, they consume a lot of electricity. And these days, electricity is really worth a lot. So you want to keep your electricity level down and you want to keep your temperature level up. And how to do that, I will show you. So let's just dive into a stenter and look at the exhaust, what is happening there. We will see right now all the, the water molecules which will go through the exhaust and find their way through the pipes. Here they are. And then they will be detected by the sensor that we have here inside the exhaust. And this sensor, it will define exactly the right moisture that is needed to have the right balance between the moisture content inside the stenter and the fan speed. And this sensor then will control the fan speed accordingly. So the fan will only run up in an optimized way, not in the highest way, not so low that there's not enough room inside the chamber that it can't um, evaporate more moisture, not as much that it's saturated. It will have enough space for new steam to come out of the fabric. However, it will save all the temperature inside. So that leads to a lot of savings in energy. It will help you having a higher output and it will give you a constant and reproducible result mainly because you really gain process capability, transparency, and you have the opportunity to speak with data. And with Internet of Things and Industry 4.0, speaking with data these days is a very, very important thing to communicate with your colleagues, to communicate with your customers, and all in all, it helps you to save money. As um, a question which is coming to my mind in this respect is um, the energy focus. Do you have an issue with energy these days in general, electricity, steam, whatever, if the, this issue is, is still rising or staying as is or dropping? Just leave it at the comments and um, it would help us to really understand what is the situation in the production units out there. Thank you very much. The advantages for you if you have a control of the exhaust moisture is, first of all, you are in control. You are in the driver's seat and you don't need any more safety margin. The second thing is you have the opportunity to monitor and lock the data and with that, you will have a better relationship, a better trust to the customer, and that will end up in a very long and durable partnership with your clients. Then finally, you always have a right result, no matter whether it's Monday morning or Friday afternoon, no more human errors, you will always have the right balance. And that, of course, is possible with a modular assembly. That means even with an old standard, we can put the necessary sensors, the necessary controls into your existing setup. And that will help you saving money as soon as possible. So thank you very much for your attention. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want, you can also visit our website. We do have a video section over there. You can really stroll around and watch all the different videos up there. If you want to have the presentation, just drop me an email. I will send it to you right away. And once you're in the comment section, I would really love to get a I like. That really would make my day. Otherwise, I hope to see you again here on the YouTube channel Promalo. And for the moment, I just say thank you very much and goodbye.